Hi, Stephanie Kwame here from the CAD Academy. The CAD Academy is an engineering and architectural program for secondary and post-secondary institutions. And we have a series of projects that we work with with SOLIDWORKS. And the very first project is in imperial, imperial units or inches, pounds, seconds. And the rest of them are in metric units, which is really what the rest of the world is in. And the students are constantly having to go up and change their units. So how would you then make a template to make that easier so that you could just come up and you could just pick something and it would boom be changed? Well, you can do that in SOLIDWORKS. And the way you would do that is let's go up to our sheet of paper. And uh, this is where you would be when you first come in uh, to SOLIDWORKS. This is the normal screen. And you would uh, go to Advanced. And under Advanced, we would we are in templates now and we want to make a template for part so then we select part because that's what we want to make a template for and then you say okay so now we have a completely uh, new screen that uh, we can customize and then save that as a template and the biggest thing uh, for now would be to go to options here and all of these things can be customized and saved in our template but the big thing is units. We are in inch, pounds, seconds, and we want to change to millimeters. So we're going to say OK. Another thing, as you uh, begin using this package, there are a lot of things that you can customize as well. And you could save that with your template. You can see uh, toolbars, commands, menus, mouse gestures, other options. So uh, you can uh, make it uh, mean and lean for what you need to do. The final thing that we need to do is we would go up to SOLIDWORKS and get this pull down or pull out. And I uh, have it uh, just tacked up so that I don't have to do that. But go to File and do Save As. And what we want to do is we want to save this as a part template. So let's arrow down here. And right here is. Uh, the extension for part template. We like that, but now we need to change this to say something, and so I'm going to just call that my my metric parts or something like that. You might want to save it as something different than that, but I'm saving that as that. So I say my metric parts. So now if I go up to options and I go to document properties and I go to units uh, let's change it back to IPS so we're in IPS and so that's the default right now and we're gonna go to a sheet of paper and we're gonna say okay now I want to use my metric parts template say okay and let's see if we go up here if we are now in um, metric and we are so basically that's what you would do is you would create a template you could actually because you're switching back and forth have an IPS template and then a template for uh, millimeters or you could have a customized template just to have the screen customized for what you would like and uh, that's a great way to um, run or a quick way uh, to start a drawing Again, Stephanie from the CAD Academy. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Uh, I can be reached at stephanie at thecadstore.com. Thank you for listening.